Recently, Rummy and I went on a, a massive adventure, another riding through history, and we completed the North Coast 500. So what you're going to see over this few videos is my journey. So stick with me and uh, enjoy the ride. Well, I've just arrived at Eden Camp. You come in through the entrance there, very friendly on the gate, uh, and you come round into the car park, and um, there's a Rough Justice Memorial. Uh, see Rummy Park down there, and um, all visitors here. So this is a, a quick look at it. They've got music playing. Not sure how, how that's going to go down with uh, a little garden with a castle. <laughs> Don't know what that's all about. But there you go. So that's, that's uh, what you see at the entrance. Um, there's caravan and camper van park in there. Um, and it's the way you come in, it's the way you go out. So I'm going to have a, a wander around and then go and get to, get something to drink. So this is it, Eden Camp uh, in North Yorkshire. And the sun's coming out. What a result. It's interesting. Huts 20 and 21, um, one's to the Bevin boys and one's to Civil Defence. So um, we have a quick look in, in the Bevin boys. Now, if you don't know who the Bevin boys were, um, they had a poor sods that, um, that signed up or got called up during the war and um, their job was to go down the coal mines. So instead of going fighting, they uh, found themselves down the coal mine. So it looks like we've just gone into a coal mine here. That's pitch black, so we'll have a... Yeah, did you... <laughs> shovel or pick, take your shovel or pick. Yeah, can't see, a, can't see a thing in here. Oh, there you go, there's a way out. <laughs> so you put your tools in the shed. So the Bevin boys ended up digging coal right throughout the wall. Um, I know a few people that was Bevin boys. And then, uh, and then you come through the other side and you've got civil defence. Now civil defence were all the, uh, like the firemen and all those that uh, helped. All the smoke in here and everything, <laughs> that's brilliant. So civil defence, they were airway wardens um, and they helped out. Um, putting fires out, digging people out of bombed out houses. Uh, now YMCA, they was all part of civil defence. They came along with their tea wagons. So, uh, yeah, just give you a, a, an idea of what you can see in there. Lots of personal stories. Um, a list of people that signed up for Civil Defence. Oh, going a blackout again. Oh, this is on the home front. Welfare, I mean, there you go, what they used to do. They used to have sort of um, out in the streets when, when people were getting bombed out. WRVS were there helping home people, feed people, John's Ambulance. Yeah, Red Cross as well. And uh, yeah, district nurses helped out. I mean, there's a lot of people bombed out during the war, particularly uh, in the big cities. And uh, yeah, so this is what you can have, this is what you can actually come and see here in um, Oh, blind veterans UK. So lots of people lost their sight and all sorts during the, during the war. Oh, 
Air Defence of Great Britain, August 1940. So we're moving on. There's a whole ton of stuff here. This is now going into uh, Forces Reunion Hut. So what are we here to see in here? These again are, uh, if you're looking for someone, I guess, trying to find old mates. Got old uniforms. So there's absolutely loads of photographs. On the old home front, it's all the badges of regiments during the Second World War. So, uh, yeah. So I hope the music's not going <laughs> to come across, man. So, here you go. So, all the different regiments, ties, different associations. Wartime uniforms. So there you go, that's a, a quick look around. That's 2021 and 20, 22. So, Hospital Chelsea. Be there in a few weeks. So, what I'm trying to do here is just show you, give you a flavour of what you can see here at the uh, Eden Camp. Now Eden Camp was a prisoner of war camp during the Second World War. And, uh, and what they've done since is to, to try and maintain it and add to it to show what wartime life was like, um, particularly here up in North Yorkshire. So you've got uh, Hut 19, which is the 1945 and Chapel. Got some air raid shelters there. Um, and something you saw a lot during the war is unexploded bombs and uh, how they used to dig them up. So uh, here's an ACAT gun. And then you look down, and there's a load of other huts, toilets here. So there's a a whole host of stuff, tanks and you name it, they've kind of got it here. So if you find yourself up in North Yorkshire, um, come and have a look. Save It Street. Here's a Save It Street. At 17. <laughs> what, no eggs? Mr. Child? Oh, here you got Ministry of uh, Information and propaganda leaflets. So this is what this is all about. Just have a quick wander through here. ARP Walden, Mr. Edges. Oh dear. Now, let's have a quick wander through, see what we're coming up to. Yeah. So this is, uh, oh there was a big wash day on during the war, recycling, um, used to collect up newspapers and all sorts of stuff, pots and pans to build a spitfire, so um, sorry no eggs, sorry, got anything else darling? <laughs> so this is kind of what you they used to take down all the, the street sides, remember? So if you didn't know your way around, the idea was, oh yeah, they used to nick all the railings. So, uh, yeah. It was at this stage during the day that my battery on the mic gave up the ghost because i'd been recording in the morning 
over at the National Railway Museum. Um, <laughs> it died halfway through the, the trip round here. So what I'll do is I'll just give you a quick heads up. Right, so what you're seeing here is a picture or a diagram of the layout of the camp and what you can see around the camp. So Eden Camp was a POW camp, 83. And what they try to do is maintain it and build on it over the years. So I'm just going to go in and have a look around the uh, the U-boat uh, part of the museum. And this shows you all about the, the different U-boats, how they operated and um, what they look like. So we're just having a wander through and you can see what it would like, what it was like. It obviously doesn't give you the cramped conditions that you see on a submarine. However, what it does do is it shows you some of the, what you're likely to see on a, on a German U-boat. Um, and obviously that's something to do with the escape, <laughs> the escape pods, uh, how they got out, if they managed to get out. And have a look through a periscope. Um, that's what you can see when you're looking out of a periscope after you've sent your torpedoes off to, to sink the merchant shipping. And that's what they were after. The the wolf packs, the, the German uh, U-boats operated in packs during the war to sink as much merchant shipping as they possibly could. They weren't particularly bothered with sinking the... Um, the battleships and that, they were after. Their main focus was on destroying the the merchantmen, the merchant ships that were bringing um, supplies to to us. And also uh, in, the, in the Arctic convoys up round to Murmansk for the Russians. They delivered tons of stuff for the Russians. And it's only just a uh, 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 in 90, I think it was recently that they they awarded the Arctic convoys with their own medal. I mean, operating in the Arctic convoys during the Second World War was horrendous, and particularly during the winter. So this gives an idea of the amount of submarines that we had. I mean, the Germans had a lot, but we also had a lot of submarines. And that's a battle ensign off of um, uh, one of the the submarines. So moving on then, art number four. Uh, this is all about uh, what was going on on the home front. So the dispatch riders, the civil defence, Red Cross, uh, <laughs> parachute packers. Um, and this, this is what you were seeing, that bombed out houses, that dispatch riders wrote, riding around with messages. The ARP warns, put that light out, put that light out. Uh, so, yeah, that's what you were seeing on the home front. And, yeah, I think the people at home had it pretty tough during the war. And particularly on the food front. And, uh, yeah, especially when they're getting bombed out and all the rest of it. And there's the old Anderson shelter down the garden. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little trip around Eden Camp and hopefully it's inspired you to want to go and visit it yourself. <laughs>